Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So once again, I want to thank everybody for the great comments uh, regarding the loadouts, um, especially for the uh, Direwolf. Let's have a look at it. I did some changes, um, and I think they're changes for the better. So the first thing we're going to have a look, we'll have a look at the Direwolf in a second. But, uh, oh, Millionaire's got something wrong. What did I do wrong here? What does it say on here? Stalled in the wrong lo locations. Case 2 requires clan armor. Oh, right. Because I changed it to the NSS. Actually, do we have clan stealth? I can't put it back in now. Let's see if we do here. I don't have clan stealth, but we can easily fix this. So we'll put a... Can't put it there. Let's take this one out. Let's take this one out. Put this one in. And then we'll put the half ton... Actually, let's pull... Well, we need a case here. So the prototype can go over here. This can come out. This patchwork can go in here. Right? And then we just need the 0.25 ton back in the head again, so we don't have to cost that. Uh, yeah, sorry about this, guys. Uh, and then we put our case back in. Wouldn't be me if I hadn't done something like that. All right, so um, I took Talondale's idea of kind of turning this into a mini awesome. So we pulled out the command console. We're leaving the fire control system champion in this sucker. Uh, so it's plus one accuracy with PPCs and plus 15% plus 15 damage. So we've got three ER PPCs in here. Uh, the heat sinking is actually quite good on this guy, so it's only six over, which is great. We have the advanced AMS in here still. I haven't pulled it out because we still need this as a support uh, for the lance it's going to be with. This might end up going somewhere else, in which case I'll be able to put other stuff in here, but for now I'm just going to leave it in. Uh, still have the defense gyro and everything. Put a slick suite and powered sensors because that's all we have. Unfortunately, the tag still stays in. So overall, it's actually not bad. Um, three ER PPCs, not a very fast mech, but doesn't need to be. It's really just a long range fire support, which is why I put the NSS in, so hopefully he can stay stealth at the back line. So let's confirm this guy again. He's not coming in the fight today, so I'm not worried about it. But, um, so I redid the Dire Wolf. Let's have a look at this guy. And we kept the weapon mounts on both arms, and I swapped out the um, Hyper Assault Gosses on the arms. Now, I wasn't really thrilled with the Hyper Assault Goss. I know um, Fist of Door mentioned it's kind of like an LRM-30, basically. Um, it's got variable damage. It can actually hit harder, slightly harder than an LRM-30, uh, especially with the, um, the fire control system hag on the, uh, in the cockpit here, because uh, it'll do 20% more damage plus another 10% more when we Warlord. So those missiles can hit pretty hard, or the projectiles can hit pretty hard. Um, but I... I, when you're fighting heavier mechs, you really need that pinpoint damage uh, and accuracy, and that's what this guy is built for now. It's just all accuracy, all pinpoint damage. So, without the weapon mounts, so that's plus three to hit there. TTS Ballistic is going to give the Gauss Rifles another plus two to hit, plus two more for the fire control system here, which is plus seven, plus the fact that they're in the arms, plus eight, you know, so they're going to be super, super accurate. And because this thing does plus 20% damage for the Gauss Rifles, these Gauss Rifles will be hitting for 90. So, yeah, um, at first I wasn't really convinced running with two Gauss Rifles would be the way to go. But I kind of balanced it out with a pair of ER Larges and ER Mediums. So the Larges will be firing the same time as the Gauss Rifles. The ER Mediums require you to be a little closer, 560 meters. But if the enemy closes with us, we can definitely use them. Uh, the heat efficiency isn't the best, um, but with both larges and both gosses firing, we're, we're perfectly fine. It's just when we have to use the mediums, or if we have to use the mediums. I didn't really know what else to do. Uh, I tried it with two PPCs, but once again, the, it would be another two tons uh, of lasers, and it's you know a little bit less heat, but it still overheats, right? So, because i got to pull some stuff out to be able to get them in there. Now, I ran with four tons of Gauss ammo. I just kind of spread it around in case we get hit in a one location. We'll still have enough Gauss to carry the battle through. It doesn't explode, so it's not, it doesn't really matter where they go, but uh, I just spread them around just in case we get hit in a location and we lose one. Um, but that's enough for 16 turns of continuous fire, which is should be more than enough. I thought about pulling one extra one out, but um, 
I don't know, if we, we lose some Gauss ammo, then our Gauss functionality severely drops, right? So, but if we go longer than 10 turns in a battle with continuous fire, then it's going to be a really hardcore battle anyway. So, um, definitely want to keep the extra ammo. So, uh, really all I could add to this guy was the Slick Suite. I didn't really have anything else for the uh, cockpit, but it does have totem sensors, which gives increased resolve gave for all the Lance members. So, it's plus four resolve for turn, which is great. I mean, it, there's nothing to sneeze at. I would still prefer to have a plus one accuracy like the uh, targeting sensors, but, um, you know, we'll deal with what we have right now. And then, uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, E-Cooling plus two. Uh, originally, I had two double heat sinks in here, but I just pulled them out because this is harder to hit. So, yeah, that's all I did. And added exchanger and heat bank in. Now, I had to buy the exchanger and heat banks. We didn't have any. Um, but this was really the best way to go. It's two tons for a tremendous amount of heat reduction, so... That's the best way to do it. Um, yeah, and this guy, and that, that's it for this guy. I want to see how he performs today. Uh, I think it'll do actually quite well. So let's get out of here. And now I haven't adjusted the Timberwolf um, C yet, uh, or the Pirate version, uh, or the D. Um, we're going to leave the loadouts as they are. I think I am going to go back to an Ultra 20 version on the C, most likely. The D version, uh, it's got a rack currently. It might get swapped out. I'm not sure yet. We're going to leave it, but the pirate version is definitely staying the way it is with the two PPCs, two larges, and two ER mediums. It's going to stay the way it is. Um, so yeah, let's get uh, let's get into some battles here. So let's have a look at the contracts. So I'm really thinking about doing Corporate Secrets. It's a five skull. It's against Comstar. Um... So we basically have to rescue an, uh, an industrial spy. Um, so we're going to have to extract her through more provocative means, which means killing everybody. Uh, and I think it's against Comstar, so I think it's probably a good test of our current lance. Um, there's a few other missions down here I could take, but like Liberations and as like a destroy base. But I think I want to take one that's a little bit more challenging today. Um, so let's negotiate this. And we're going to go full salvage, of course, on this one. Now, I did sell a bunch of stuff, so we do have some sea bills here. And we did shift planets too. I should have showed you that, but we shift planets. We're like right in the front line now. Um, so hopefully um, we can start having an effect here. So let's deploy these guys and get this sucker done. All right, here we go. So the facility just over the hill. All right, and then get out. Ah, right, God, I don't like this map. It's definitely challenging. Um, so there's usually a lance here. There's reinforcements are on this side. So we're going to make our way up over here. Try and crest the hill at this point and then attack the enemy. See how it goes. So um, in the dashi, I ended up pulling out the supercharger. Um, and the reason being is we don't really need it the speed anymore. We With the hyper assault, assault Goss weapons gone, we don't really need to close because we don't have damage fall off. Like we did with the hyper assaults so I, I don't need to close with the enemy so the whole reason um, i had it there was to be able to close to inflict more damage but you know that's not needed anymore so um, plus i mean look at that that's a hundred ton mech and it's moving pretty damn fast now what i'm probably going to do ooh, catapult to c warhammer that was a oh c7 70 tons okay um, what I'm probably going to end up doing is um, in probably, it'll probably be the uh, Timberwolf C, but in the Timberwolf C, is that a Yorman gun deer? It is. Wow, uh, man. In the Timberwolf C, when we add the Ultra 20 in, I'll probably add the supercharger to that. God damn it. All right, we need to move fast. I'm taking some serious hits. Receiving you. No shooting, just running. What else do we got here? Battlemaster. Yeah. Come on, crest that hill, buddy. 
Okay. So yeah, I mean, once we get it in the Ultra 20 mech, um, it'll be moving real fast and we can crack some skulls with that sucker. All right, now can I... No idea what the... Yeah. No idea what my chance the hit's going to be. Wow, pretty damn low, but we can fire everything. Um, I'm going to leave the ERs off for now, the mediums. Oh, nice one hit. Commander. <sighs> I think we need to reserve this. I don't think that Jormund Gundir is going to crest the hill. Okay, there's our first target. Nice shooting, Tex. Gonna need more than that. Yes, Commander. We need evasion, and we need to get into the trees for some superior blood of armor. All right. Uh, yes. Okay, we got a tag on. Nice. That's a lot of sixes. At least he's spreading it around. I can't take much more of this. Yeah, we gotta get over that hill, guy. Once we pull this battle master down, we can do that. Let's wind the rack up. And I think we go warlord on this one. Because he is out in the open firing. Okay, pretty good chances to hit. Let's turn these back on. Let's get our warlord going. And we're just gonna fire. We need to, we need to connect. Well, we got one on him anyway. Okay, Rhino. Get our stability back. Pretty darn good chances to hit. Let's warlord this. Increase our damage. Going down. Calm star. It's probably the army going first. Nope. Warning. Armor low. When isn't our armor low? Position confirmed. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. Thank you. One left target. Thank you. There's your next target, people. I'm losing armor bad. Yeah, we're closer now, so his damage is lower. You guys have got some speed, man. Okay. My mech, my mech looks better than yours does. It's just better. Um. All right, let's soften him up. Copy that. At least we hit the tags. Good to go. Didn't really do much softening, did we? Heading out. 
Yeah, racks jam, but we can still hit him with these. Firing. Engaging. Let's get in the trees. Guys, pretty good speed for a hunter tonner. Let's vigilance this. Uh, and fire. Well, at least the gosses are hitting. Is that your army going first? I think so. Nope. The hammer. You realize what you just did, right? You just turned your back to a hundred ton mech. Like... Uh, sure. That's kind of a gift horse, but I don't know if we'll hit, though. There's a really bad chance to hit there. What's it on this guy? Not much better. Come on. I think we need to get an advanced AMS in the Lance. Warning. Armor low. Just saying. Somebody's using Swarm. Waiting for orders. That was three hits in the leg, it looked like. Reporting critical hit. Sure as hell was. I'm here. Order acknowledged. How to get this guy first. He basically gave it to us. Just lucky, just lucky we had two heavy mechs back there that we could exploit that with. He did us both up pretty damn good. Waiting for orders. Copy that. Firing full power. Okay, knocked him down. Hoping we can finish this guy up next turn. Yes, Commander. Position confirmed. Okay, now we can do this. Crank this back up and fire. All right, see what this crap of bolt does. Ow. I took a critical hit. Yes, Commander. 
Location confirmed. Um, let's just fire on his side. Guy runs so cool. Too far. That's better. Roger. Let's get this leg. I copy. Mech destroyed. That pilot had ten health. I'm on fire. Ooh, that's a lot of heat. All right, firing these. What's up, buddy? I got a rack and warlord with your name on it. That's a knockdown, too. Have a seat. I'm here. This guy's all yours, girl. Excel engines, unless their clan don't run them. Waiting for orders. Oops, let's make sure we finish this up. We took some significant damage though from these guys. So we gotta find a way to get an advanced AMS into one of these mechs. There it is. That wasn't too bad. So even with all those accuracy bonuses, I still had a harder chance to hit. Don't know what to do. Maybe can maybe someone can throw a comment. I have no idea if I did anything wrong there or what the hell happened. But I definitely think getting one of these Timberwolves with an with an Ultra 20 and a supercharger will help out. We got six salvage. Ugh. Clan ERPPCs. We need gear. So let's see what we got down. We already got command console. Clan Exchanger is a possibility. Uh, clan Heat Bank is a good possibility. Um, double Heat Sink Kit, nah. Sniper Sensors. We don't have any sensors, so we should grab at least one of those. We've already got the Range Finder, LRM Ammo. Oh, God, okay. So... I don't think we need the sea bills. Let's go for the mech parts. And Yorman gun deer parts, most likely. Let's do that. Alright, one Battlemaster part, two, three catapult parts, three, four, four Yorman, Yorman gun deer parts, some enhanced LRMs, MRM 40. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, so, God, that's a lot. 70, 41 days for repairs. What? Uh, so the black cat can come to the top. Yeah, let's go this way. Because um, what I want to do is I want to get that um, Timberwolf C done. Now, was it the C that got fixed already? I think so. No, it was the D version. Uh... I mean, the other option with this guy is to run the AMS and keep him at a distance. Eh, I don't know. They just guys, these guys just have so such limited weight. I 
almost want to put the AMS in the direwolf. But we just don't have the weight of the space. Come on. Take my money, please. Okay, let's have a look now. Timberwolf. C. Someone with the shoulder damage. Yeah. So let's try something. Um, our Ultra 20. Where are you? Right here. And then we need some Ultra 20 ammo. Rack ammo. I think it's down here, isn't it? LBX, Ultra 10. Wait, those are the weapons. Where's the ammo? I know we got Ultra 20 ammo. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Double load. So let's. We only got four tons left, really. Oh, I remember why. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, don't need those. Um, Ultra 20 double. So this is 12, 22, it's 11 turns of firing, which I think is probably more than enough. We don't need the heat dissipating in here anymore. Let's get something else. Uh, since this guy's going to be in close, I wonder if we should run the feral lamellar on him. It's definitely going to be taking hits, that's for sure. So let's go that route. We need case. That's clan feral lamellar, which means I can use clan case. Uh, upper recoil, let's put that in. Uh, where is the case here? We got the Nova in here already, right? Let's pull this patchwork for a second. Uh, got an idea here. TTS Ballistic. We need to have a regular cockpit though. There's our clan case. Let's find a... So this is fire control system flak plus two accuracy with auto cannons plus 50% Increased critical chance with auto cannons. Minus two recoil with auto cannons. So that should go in. If we had a if we had a ballistic plus two with increased range for auto cannons, I would take that. But we're going to, have to use this regular flak one. Uh, then we're going to go and grab the supercharger. And we want to grab, uh, where are you here? TTS Ballistic. Let's put, yeah, let's leave it on this side because we're going to use this arm to shield with, I think, as much as we can. So our heat should be ridiculously good right now. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I don't think we need the equaling plus five, do you? Uh, let's see what else we can cram into this guy. Wow. Uh, okay. What else can we put in this guy? It's got to be close range weapons. Um, I wonder though, do we want to go with more ammo? 11 turns, is that going to be enough? Probably. Worst case scenario, I got a half ton we can drop in um, to increase it to 12 turns, but let's find out. I wonder if we should grab, uh, where's the combat shield? Did I pass it? Um, I did. It's down here. There it is. Reduce damage taken. Granting bulwark. I think we take that. And then we deal with weapons. Um, maybe, I mean, we could go with... Uh, Medium improved heavy lasers, but that's like a lot. Of, we can put two of those in. Like if we go one on each arm. Right? That's pretty good heat sinking. We got one ton left over. 
What about, um, I don't think we have any light tags left. No. <sighs> I wish we had a laser AMS. We don't have, we have a regular clan AMS. Well, let's drop, let's drop a clan AMS in. And you want additional free slot, of course. God damn it. You never have the space when you need it. The other thing with the medium approved heavy lasers is the damn space it takes to fit them in there. I mean, short of putting the ER, like ER uh, mediums, which I think we're out of now, clan ER mediums. Yeah, medium pulses are too heavy. Okay, how do we gain space here then? We'd have to pull out patchwork materials, at which point we lose our weight. So that's not an option. Uh, we need the exchanger because of the heat problem. The heat bank though, double plus. Don't we just have... We have a clan heat bank we can put in instead, which is better. Less maximum heat, but minus more heat per turn. So it's a little better there. And we got one slot left, which means we can't even put the AMS in. We need two slots. Uh, I don't want to drop the armor. Damn, the combat shield I think is definitely worth keeping. Uh... What can we put in for a ton? We can put in like four ER micro lasers. No, we can't. We can <laughs> what am I talking about? Can't even do that. Micro pulse is half a ton, right? Yeah. How much armor do we have down? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not even half a ton of armor down. Ah. <sighs> Wish they had quarter tons of ammo. <sighs> Something that'll give it a little bit more punch close in. It's two slots for a small pulse. Two slots for a small ER pulse. Medium pulse is two tons for one slot. I mean, we could put another medium improved. And just, oh, can't. <laughs> can't even fucking do that, really. Really. Do we have any other targeting systems that will enhance our ability to target people that we could use? No, we don't. How much is this way? Two slots anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Can't increase the engine. We want to keep the flak on there. Fire control system. Um, How many parts lower? Now you need a lower. Yeah, you need a lower arm for that to work. I mean, heck, we could put in one more heat sink. I mean, I guess the other way to do it would be to pull out the heat bank. We don't have a plus two E cooling though. I was thinking if we pull the heat bank out, we could put a plus two E cooling in. Or, well, if we pull a heat bank, let's say we do that. 
and let's say we add the plus one e cooling right that's going to lower our heat sinking slightly but not be too bad at all and then we would have enough room right half ton of ams let's move the ballistic tts onto this side and then let's put in our uh, ams so we even have more defense so this guy's going to be our quick quick strike backstabber i think one day to get that going confirm that so yeah, I feel better about that one now. Okay, let's wait the day. Or till these guys come back. Let's manage our tasks a bit better here. Doesn't matter, I'll be back in five days. All right. And because it's me, let's double check the mech bays because we want to make sure that everything is fine. All right, we're good to go. Uh, contracts. I checked the pilots before the episode, so we're good to go. Uh, let's go down here. Let's do a uh, liberation, and we'll take control of this pirate band's base. We're going to destroy it. This should be no problem for us. Of course, now I say that, it might might end up being a problem. We'll find out. And we'll run the same way. Um, do I want six-pack in the speedy Timberwolf? Yes, he's got better gunnery. Oh yeah, he just got he just ended up getting 10 gunnery before the episode, so that's kind of good. Uh, okay, let's deploy. All right, here we go. Knock down enough structures to structures to cripple the facility. All right, well, let's hope they don't have any arty or artillery in those turrets. And we can lure them out into some direct firefighting. This turret we can probably take down relatively early. Um, I think if we can get in to see it. Nope. Let's close our gap though. Get some evasion up. Just in case they're faster. The one thing I will say though, the big thing I've noticed since the Mjolnir is not here now with the command console is our initiative is much lower. If you noticed that in the last battle, they were going before us. That's the one thing that I'm noticing that's the big difference. Which leads me to want to kind of like, if we talk briefly a second here about the, the direwolf. Um, it leads me to kind of want to, um, yes, Commander. oh, I thought six pack had the, uh, uh crap. Oh, well, uh, it makes me want to put a command console in it with the uh, laser AMS and go with PPCs, Marauder 2, Athena, Long Tom, hooray, railgun, we got to kill that, Thumper, oh, fuck, it's all artillery. Of course it is, why would it be anything else? Um, so yeah, it, 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 you know, if we go with ER PPCs and a PPC capacitor, we can get our damage fairly high. It won't be as high as the Goss, but we'll save a lot of weight. A lot of weight. And we can put some other stuff in there. Um, Christ. Interested to see... Christ, look at this. Leave it off for a second. We're going to reserve. Why won't you let me reserve here? Come on. Um, it's not letting me escape out of this. Oh, you fucking turd blossom.
Bushwhacker Cyclops. Uh, it will not let me escape from her. I've got to go ahead and do something. It won't let me actually escape from her. I have to actually do something here. Just want to reserve. That's all I want to do. All I want to do is a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Let's shoot the turret. Uh, 300, eh? If we warlord, that should give us enough if we hit with everything. Nice. That turret is gone. It is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Got the range. Firing on this guy. Nice. Good thing they only got 300 hit points. Let's just hope the Dashy's got enough speed to. Or, sorry, I keep calling him Dashy, the dire wolf. Screw you and the rock you rode in on. Damage is light. Yeah, thankful that I put the AMS on that thing. Well, we have enough. 90, 180, 300. Oh, yeah, if we hit with everything. But let's make sure we hit. It's more important than anything. There we go. All right, turrets are no problem. All right, I think we got Marauder two parts, if I'm not mistaken. Which means we should pull that guy apart. Uh, see that Marauder 2? Ah, shit. We can't go that way. I stay out of the spores. It's easy to hit. Uh, it makes it harder to hit you, but if they do hit you, they do 20% more damage. And it's like, no thank you. No thank you. Oof. Let's just shoot him. Let's get some damage up on this guy. He's detected. Uh-huh. Here it comes. It's a lot of missile hard points on this guy. Working on his firing solution. And he's going to fire now. Hey, guess who's on fire? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Gotta shut down. Can't vent enough heat. It's fucking toasty. It's toasty over here. Shit, I don't want to go through there. Quick stepping it. 
Mockingbird's got to teach stuff. Let's shoot this guy. Oh, man. Sucks to be me. Wow. He seems a tad bit angry. That's a lot. That's really low armor. Dude. Chill out. Give this guy a fuck you. Ah. Took the chance. Cyclops gonna hammer our friggin... Oh, no. He's gonna hammer the, uh... Oh, no. That's a bad choice. I guess he's going for my torso, though. So maybe it isn't a bad choice. Oof. Oh, okay, good. We go on 23, which means we can get Rhino out of there. Wow. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Now, who do we kill? Waiting for orders. She's got tons of armor left. Not quite enough, eh? Well... Wait, even with the enhanced imaging we can't get over here and turn? Or the uh, supercharger? Oh, on. It's not a rear shot though. Go with the Ultra Twenties. Of course you did. Target lock on enemy six. Reporting critical hit. Yeah, he goes. Oh. oh man, that was a freebie. Okay, what torso do I have damage here? That's the left. So I gotta think about this for a second. Uh, turn the right side. Right? Side? Right? Correct? Pretty sure it's right. Let's fire on this guy. Wow, they both missed. On 
Okay, we gotta work on these guys fast here. Firing everything at this Marauder too. Okay. Rack is back. So the pirates are going to be pretty much behind us here. Or behind the camera. They're coming from back here. Here they are. What do we got? Cataphract, Demon, Corsair. I wonder if he's from Umbar. Ah ha ha. These guys are doing a lot of melee damage. Alright, should be able to run everything. Yep, firing. Oof, we're not just getting we're not even getting any breaks in this one. It's become a slug fest here now. Ah, this bushwhacker goes on or are we going sixteen? Oh for Christ's sake! Get away from me! Well, hopefully, well, Mockingbird does go before that uh, that guy. So the Bushwhacker's going to go. Mockingbird can probably get around behind the Marauder. Stop it! They know I just got that mech. They're all like, we gotta destroy his new mech because, because. I know I'm going through the uh, stuff, but not much we can do about this firing. Okay. We gotta shield our left side here somehow. Got a mean debuff, man. Watch out. Uh huh. Whoa. -ho. Reporting enemy contact. As long as that Cyclops wants to play the the uh, missile game, another main battle tank. Okay. So it's two tanks and two mechs. Not so bad. Okay. Ow. Damage is light. Swarming it up. Barely hit, Commander. Running the risk here, but we're going to take it. Um, okay. Paid off. Enemy mech 
Okay, Griff's going on 24. Oh, the Athena goes on 25. Really? <sighs> Maybe he'll run. You know you want to run away. Nope. Fuck you. <laughs> Not gonna let me get out of here without a scratch, are you? All right, let's hammer the side. Let's see if we can burrow through this guy. Reporting critical hit. Cool off. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. See, in comparison, you, you take a look at the dire wolf for a second. You know, short of all the armor it's got on it. Take a look at that, and then you compare that to the uh, Timberwolf Pirate. And the Timberwolf Pirate just seems it's far punchier. Alright, let's make sure this guy dies. Now, do you have... On the move. Let's hammer this guy. Major armor yeah, you're going to be moving to safety in a second. Receiving you. Uh, I think we go this route instead. Still hot, eh? That's fine. That hit something good. Reading you. I know we're not in cover here, but that's fine. Uh, firing. I don't know, it just, just seems far more accurate to me, and I know it's probably just psychological. Actually, you know what, let's turn the enhanced imaging off, we don't need it this turn. Coolant 
Yeah, I'm gonna. You know, if we had a, if we had a, um, yes, Commander. If we had a large Goss or one of those heavy uh, Goss rifles, I would definitely uh, put that on the um, Direwolf and run that. This is a large one. How much has it got? Two hundred. Let's multi-target, see if we can get two here. I don't think we'll get B, but we can start it anyway. Good shot, Commander. Enemy structure down. Yes, Commander. Move order And firing. Fire all Standing by. Same deal. Same guy. I'm just going to crank that down, though. I know it's got an okay chance. Well. Yeah, we only got 22 rounds left, so let's just hang on. Want to get a big alpha strike off on somebody. Most likely Cataphract. Well, of course there's 95 tons, okay. Nice. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Receiving. Confirmed. Taking the shot. It's time to bug Okay. Get to the LZ for extraction. Job is done, so if something bad happens and we have to leave, at least we've got good faith. Uh, we want to make sure... Can we get the Corsair? Don't think we can. I'm gonna go after this vehicle though. If we can pull him out of the battle fast. One last thing we got he's got a heavy PPC on him. Okay, nicely done. It's just I don't know. I look at that look at that loadout on that black hat and the chances to hit everything. I mean, I've got a lot of targeting in that direwolf, and it's just not anywhere near as punchy as the blackout is. Ooh. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, you got something. I've been sensor locked. Well, they finally got eyes on, did they? Nice. Ooh, leg hit. Nice. Oof. That shot went internal. Yeah, he's got like that friggin' big broadside gun or whatever the hell it is. <sighs> Shit. Say hello to my little friend. Think I hit something good. Still standing though. Commander. Taking it like a champ.
sent forth. Scored a critical hit. Okay. It's not going to stop that other guy from firing. Ooh. Thank God you can stand up. Roger that. Finish him up, please. Let's go to three. Just in case. Target neutralized. Okay, let's hope we get this guy. Wow, two solid hits, but not enough. Yeah, but they don't have a follow-up heavy weapon. Okay, that was really bad. Receiving you. Let's get the eyes off us. Jesus, how many times do I gotta hit that damn thing? What is up, buddy? So he's damaged this side here. And yep. Saw the connection on that one. I'm here. Still standing though. Let's get our stability back just so that guy doesn't knock us over targeting this thing. Thank you. Shoot this just guy, let's just get rid of him. Ready for orders. Acknowledge. He was wreaking havoc, now we're wreaking havoc. Firing. Waiting for orders. Fuck do you think you're going, buddy? Huh? Where do you think you're going? Have a seat. Tango down. Mission successful. So that mission was costly, but it was definitely fun. I enjoyed that. Timberwolf lost an arm, and uh, Direwolf lost an arm. Took some engine hits too. Not much we can't. I mean, we can't. Not that we can't fix it. It's going to be fine. This guy, yeah, lost a shoulder. It's the uh, easy arm to replace. Although we're out of ER mediums. Hopefully we can get some sooner or later. We'll find another loadout for that, though. Um, let's have a look what we got here. Bombast laser, a couple of heavy pirate PPCs, light pirate PPCs. Eh. Rack 5 pirate. Regular rack 5, thumper artillery. I guess that's what that guy had it. 
Boosted BAP, what the hell is this? Sensor range, sight range, reduced signature. Huh, that's interesting. Inner sphere, ballistic double plus. These are kind of nice. I thought these guys increased range. Guess I was wrong. Fire control missile, direct accuracy. Prototype double heat sinks, that's a good, oh, sensor tracker, yes please. TTS ballistic. We're using the ones we have now, so I don't know if we actually need another one. Although we may want to take these. How many do we have in storage? Six. And then rack ammo, ammo. rack double ammo. Thumper shape charged half. Where is that thumper? 15 tons, 2.5 million, minus 2 direct fire accuracy, massive damage, extreme range. It says stability 8. Means a hell of a lot more than that. Uh, fast cam, eh? Seven mine trigger radius. Woof. Twenty percent mine trigger chance. Four mine damage. Two mines per projectile. I don't know, we want Thumper? I think I'm going to go that route. We got one Thumper already. Yeah. All right, Thena, Cyclops, Bushwhacker parts, Bombast. Unfortunately, we can't use this stuff. Uh, wow, we got really, we got ripped. Our rack five ammo, basic. Ah, well. All right, well. Oh, it's a million sea bills in forty-four days. Sure, why not? We got stuff we can sell, so I'm not worried. Yeah, well, I am definitely going to try a different direwolf loadout. I don't know. I, I, I know I mentioned this before. The two Gauss rifles and the ammo, it's like that's like twenty what twenty eight tons that's in there right now. And I think I can get more damage. with other weapons like greater overall damage I don't know about accuracy but definitely greater overall damage with other with by doing a different loadout and ignoring the 20% goss plus 2 accuracy goss um, built in cockpit I'm going to try it and see what happens because I'm still not happy with the loadout it's one of those things, the Omnimax are nice because you can load whatever you want into them, but you're limited in space. Like, you're like you're limited with what you can put in because you can't change the engine. You can't make it any lighter. You can't put it in a different gyro. Like, it's like you're stuck with what you got. So, yeah, I'm going to have to think on that one, I think. I like the speedy new Timberwolf with the Ultra 20 and the pair of um, heavy medium lasers. Liking that as a compar com in comparison to the four large lasers. Uh, definitely p more punchy. It's faster. It's got more maneuverability to get behind enemies. Um, so I'm liking that loadout. Damage reduction on it's nice. Um, the rack loadout on the other Timberwolf. Uh, I think I might re-examine that. 
I mean, the dire wolf, we could go as a double rack dire wolf. And the, uh, think about it, the overall damage on a double rack dire wolf is going to be, like the weight is, it's going to be a lot more weight, but the damage is going to be far superior than using two Gauss rifles. And yeah, it's more splashy, but you're going to have a lot of it. Like for every two shots equals one ga one shot from the Gauss rifle, and you can fire, what, 12 rounds? So it's like, it's going to do, what, three times the damage of the Gauss rifles? Total? Or six times? Well, yeah, no, three times the damage of the Gauss rifles. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, I definitely will take a look between episodes, I think. Sometime tomorrow I'll take a look at it. Uh, figure out a new loadout for it. Sell some GAC so we got we got some stuff back. Um, I may run with uh, the the uh, three Timberwolves and the Mjolnir tomorrow and leave the Dire Wolf off for now. The other thing too is to go with a laser loadout and go with a um, advanced AMS. I don't know. The command console is nice having initiative. I got to say, nice having that first initiative. And most of my guys going before the enemy and not having that shifting back and forth of who's going first and not knowing whether or not if you make a move, if you're going to be able to go before the enemy. There's been a couple times, that last mission especially, where we just got kind of, I don't want to say shafted, but we got the, a bad initiative roll and we ended up getting hit. So anyway, let me think about it. All right, hope you liked the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. How do you feel a Dire Wolf was working with the Dual Goss? Um, maybe we just didn't have the right mission to show it off. I don't know. But there should be no right mission to show it off. They should all be, it should be performing in every mission or next to every mission, that's for sure. But uh, yeah. So until next time, we'll see everybody later.